How was that? Probably not great. I am here in Paris. I've come on a trip with Bourgeois and it's nice to be back. It's been a little while since I've been to Paris actually. I'm here with Freddie, Alex, Kate and another Alex as well. We had a really nice journey up on the Eurostar. We like chatted the whole way and I edited a video. It was very productive. And I'm now in our beautiful hotel room. The hotel is called Hotel Bachemont and it's so nice. We haven't really had a chance to look around much but we just checked in and my room is beautiful. It's like a lovely mix between modern and classic. Very pretty, I'm very happy to be here. Very excited to sleep in this bed. So we're here to learn about Bourgeois' new releases. They've got loads of new releases coming throughout the next year. I think we're gonna be learning about four of them on this trip, and the main one is a foundation. I'm gonna be talking to you more about the launches and stuff tomorrow, but I just wanted to say hi and check in. We've got about an hour, I think, in our rooms, and then we're gonna go out for dinner. Just the UK lot, so it's gonna be pretty casual. This is actually a global event, so there's bloggers from all around the world gonna be at this event tomorrow, which is really cool because I get to meet other beauty bloggers. But tonight it's just us, so we're gonna keep it quite low key, go somewhere for dinner. I'm not sure where, but I'm building up an appetite, so that'll be nice. The weather's not looking great, but it'll still be lovely. It's still Paris. This is the little bed area of the room. There's like a giant mirror here, which is always very much appreciated. And then look at this bathroom. How cool is this tiling? I absolutely love it. And it kind of goes round the back and then it's all mirrored cupboards and there's a little toilet in there as well. Such a nice room. I'm gonna head down to reception to meet everyone else. We're going for dinner at a restaurant called Le Comptoir de Petit Champ which I don't think I've been to, although I looked at it online and kind of recognized it, so I might have been. It's meant to be really nice, so apparently they change the menu like every time you go. So I'm gonna head downstairs and meet everyone else. Dinner was delicious, I'm heading to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I woke up bright and early this morning because I wanted to take some photos in my hotel room but I didn't really think about the fact that it's still dark here at quarter past eight. It's pitch black outside so that plan didn't really work. I'm gonna get on and do my makeup for the day because we're gonna meet downstairs for breakfast in about half an hour. So one of the products that I'm here to learn about is actually a foundation. And I'm sure you guys know the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. It's been around forever. It's definitely one of my favorites because it's very like dewy and light and easy to wear. I've always really liked it, but they've actually reformulated it. So this is the new one. The packaging is slightly different. It's still called the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. And I'm gonna put it on now for you on camera so you can see. I'm actually learning about it today. I found out a little bit about it already, but today we're like going around Paris and wait, we have a little, we have a little like guidebook and we're basically going around Paris to learn about all these different launches. I think this foundation is the one that we're ending on. It's not that different to the original formula. This one's like packed full of vitamins and it gives you that dewy, fresh, light skin. It's very radiance boosting, so you really get that glow. For me, it's like the perfect weekend foundation, but if you like a light to medium coverage, then it's like an everyday foundation as well. It says on it that it's 16 hour wearing, so I could probably test that out today. If I put it on now, yeah, I reckon I'll be wearing this for 16 hours today, so I'm gonna test out the 16 hour wear. But I thought I would just apply it for you now on camera so you can see, because I wore this yesterday, so the first part of my vlog, I was already wearing this foundation. But let's put some on now. I'm just gonna pump it onto my hand and then apply it straight on the skin. I also love the smell of this foundation. It's the same smell as the old formula. It's very like fruity, it's really fresh. So when I applied it yesterday, I did a really thin layer and then I went on with the second one. So it builds really nicely, which I always like that in a foundation because some days you want a bit more coverage than others. I'm using a really damp sponge just to add to the dewiness. 
Can you see how fast it blends into the skin? I like that. So that's pretty much blended in, but what I'll probably do is add a little bit more in places where I want a bit more coverage. So that all over, I'd say, is kind of like a light coverage. And if you want to build it up to medium, sometimes I just take another pump and just add a bit to the center of my face. Also, something I noticed, which is a bit of a weird observation, is that it's got a really nice pump. You know how some foundations, when you pump the product, it just gives you like one massive squirt of product and you can't really control it. This one's really easy to control, which I really like in a foundation. I didn't realize I did until I kind of noticed that with this one. By the way, guys, I am getting so good at being a morning person. Like, it was one of my news resolutions and I'm much better at waking up in the morning now. So there you go. That is what the foundation looks like. Also, I like when a brand like tweaks the formula. They haven't completely changed it. It's not gonna upset old customers that loved this foundation. It's just a slight tweak to make it a little bit better. I think it's great. All right, I'm gonna get on doing the rest of my makeup. I think Kate's coming to my room because she's gonna help me take some photos. And then I'm gonna eat lots of pastries because that's what you do when you're in France. We're about to head off. I just came up to get my coat and I thought I'd show you this little top I got. It's from Topshop. It's stripy and it has French on it. I'm so French today. And honestly, I can't remember what this says. I Googled it in the shop to make sure it wasn't something weird. Oh, I can't remember, but it's not actually that clear anyway. So I'm hoping it's not anything weird. I'm wearing the little stripy top, jeans and Converse because we have lots of walking to do today. So I have to be comfy. I'm also wearing a hoodie and a coat. <laughs> We're heading to our first location. There's these little like clues all the way along the road. And I think the first place we're going is a masterclass. Indiana Rose, I caught a glimpse of you out on the road. Whilst we wait for this masterclass to start, I thought I'd quickly introduce you to all the people I'm here on the trip with. We've got Alex, another Alex, Freddie, and Kate. You're whispering a symphony. So we've just finished at the workshop thing and we learned about the new products which is the foundation, the mascara which you can reapply, that sounds cool, really want to try that, and some lip products as well. Now I think we're getting in these cute little like old school cars and driving to the next location which I don't know where that is. We've been given these little clues along the way to figure out where we're going next. Right, we're getting in the cars. Oh my god, the whole car is like bouncing as we're getting in. Kate and Alex are in the back. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be terrifying. This is Robert, our driver. And I told him I really like his hat. I do, I want a hat like this. He said I could try it on. Can I try it on? Thank you. Does it suit me? <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Please. It is, uh, come on, um, a sailor hat, yes? Yeah. But um, a fisherman hat. Oh, okay. From. I'll type that into ASOS. The car we're in is a little bit broken, so... It's trying, it's trying. It's trying. It's trying. <laughs> survived somehow our car was broken thanks robert no <laughs> merci <laughs> he's hilarious car journey not my seatbelt was broken thought i was gonna die so we're now in this really cool location to talk about the summer launch which is i think electric nights it's like neon and stuff and there's a fashion designer that they collaborated with and we're gonna be doing stuff with her it looks like we're gonna be getting like very hands-on lunch and now we're heading to the next surprise. I have no idea where we're going right now. We've just driven down by the river and I'm slightly concerned that we might be getting on a boat because you guys know what I'm like on boats and it's not fun for anyone. So um, I'm going to assess the situation, <laughs> maybe opt out. Looks like it's a boat, but it's a cafe boat. Okay, we're getting on the boat, which isn't going anywhere. This is for the Healthy Mix Foundation and 
apparently there's a new concealer, which I'm excited to see. It used to come in a tube, and now it comes in a wand, and I really want to try it. So here are the new foundations, which I showed you guys this morning. Now I'm going to hunt for the concealer. Really want to try it. <gasps> Look, it looks like a mini foundation. This is behind the scenes of I covet these flat lays. We are in the final location of our scavenger hunt. Look where we are. Wait, you can't see. <laughs> One second. We're here at the, I'm gonna call it the Paris Eye because it looks like the London Eye, but it's in Paris. I'm not sure what the official name is, but it's like a giant merry-go-round and we're gonna get on it. How fun. I just got back to my hotel room and today was really fun. It was busy, but it was fun. I haven't got much downtime actually. I need to be ready in about half an hour to head out. I think tonight we're going to a party and all the bloggers from all the different countries are gonna be there. And I don't really know what else is going on. I'm ready for the party. I've literally just topped up my makeup, curled my hair and got dressed. And I'm wearing the same outfit I always wear. I like to wear things more than once. I like to really wear clothes, but I do feel like I've worn this one too many times. This is a top from DVF. I actually had a voucher for Farfetch, which is why I bought it. I wouldn't normally spend that much on a top. This necklace is from a brand called By Alona. It was a gift from Clinique for my birthday. This blazer is from Topshop. These jeans actually are new because they're the Jamie jeans, but they've got um, they've got little tassels here. Can you see? Filmed that really badly. And my Topshop boots. And I know I've worn this outfit too many times. I'm sick of it. You guys must be sick of it. I haven't got any evening clothes. I just don't know what to wear. I'm actually going to film a video with my friend Debs. She is great. She's pretty much like a stylist, even though she doesn't do that as her full-time job at the moment. I think we're going to analyse my wardrobe, figure out some key pieces that I need, and then go out, shop, buy some stuff, and I'm hopefully going to film the whole thing. Although I feel like a lot of things can be got on ASOS and obviously you have to wait for those to arrive. So maybe I'll get her to pick a few things for me on ASOS beforehand. And when they arrive, we'll film the video. Something like that. I think that'd be really cool because I need some evening clothes. God, these lights are terribly unflattering. I need some evening, clo evening clothes. I don't know. I have like really smart dresses for like award ceremonies, but I really hate wearing dresses. Or I have jeans. I've got nothing in between. This will do for now though. We're all pretty tired from the busy day anyway, so I don't think it'll be a late night. Beauty room in here. Oh my god. Wait, where's the bottom? <gasps> Don't just put your foot in, you're gonna fall. Go on, give us a tutorial. So today, guys, we have a slow edition. Oh my god, you actually did it. That was so funny. It feels like one of your videos. <laughs> I think this is where the illustrations are happening. Right, it's my turn for the portrait. Yay! You, you just leave it up me. Take a trip to the stars. I can show you it all. Look, this is my drawing. She's got my name wrong, but that's okay. It actually looks better like that, I think. We're now heading back to our rooms, and I'm leaving early tomorrow morning, so I'm not going to see everyone. This is the last time you're all going to be in my vlog. Bye. 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 I'm back in my hotel room, and oh, it was such a fun party, actually. It was in such a cool, like, apartment party space kind of thing. It was really cool. I want to stay there. I'm actually heading off a bit earlier tomorrow morning. I'm getting, I'm leaving here at eight. The others are leaving at 10 because I have a full day of meetings tomorrow and I just needed to get loads of stuff done. So I wanted to get back a bit earlier. It'll be sad not to be on the train with everyone. We all got on so, so well. It was such a nice group actually. It's really nice to get closer with some of the other girls I didn't know as well. I'm gonna link everyone below who was in this vlog. So you can go check them out on Instagram or YouTube or wherever. And I think I'm gonna actually leave the vlog here. I'm gonna FaceTime Rich now to catch up with him. 
and there's not much to show you in the morning. I'm just getting on a Eurostar and heading home. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to expand the description box below because there's going to be loads of details in there of like places I went, products I spoke about, people who were in the video, all the good stuff. Before you ask a question, check in there because it's likely the answer will be in the description box. I hope you've enjoyed coming to Paris with me. Check out my recent video, which I'm going to link here. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, please. If you'd like to, you don't have to, I don't mind. But if you want to, you can. Bye!